Hello everybody and welcome to another Houdini tutorial. This tu Houdini tutorial isn't showcasing much of 2019 other than the updates to the file cache node. But today we are going to be going over this basic vellum drooping effect. So I'll play it back for you uh, just so you can see it. It kind of looks like that. Kind of like almost a balloon, empty balloon blowing in the wind or something. So if you want something, learn how to do something like this, let's get started. So the first thing you'll need to start with is a test geometry picket. So what you'll need to do um, is remove the shader. Houdini, what's wrong? Whoa, gasp. Um, I'm gonna hide all objects. So you're gonna remove the shader and you will probably not see it if this is enabled in the viewport not enabled in the viewport. So we remove the shader, uh, we switch the difficulty to medium, and then we are going to subdivide it. So giving it a depth of three, this should allow the pig to just have more polygons. The next thing we're going to do is do out pig head as a null, just to mark where we are. We're going to give it some color because I want to paint some attributes and values onto this pig head. So the next thing I'm going to do is paint the areas that I want vellum to affect. So I want it to affect the ears as well as the snout area. And then I'm going to blur these attributes and then turn off my grid plane so you can see this better. So I've just upped the blur blurring iterations to give it a better fall off pattern. And then I've created a group expression. This group expression is um, solidifying everything that's not in the group that's under this color value. I've then given this uh, group a name called not group. The next thing I've placed down is a vellum constraints cloth node. So what this is doing is just your default cloth sim uh, sop. So if you go down here and you go vellum cloth, vellum configure cloth, and you go like this, it should drop down that exact same node. And that's what I've done. So you can see that I haven't really changed month much on this node. And then the next thing I've added is a vellum constraints pin. So what this is doing is scrolling up to the top is doing pin to target. So it's not moving any of these points in this group, which is called not group. Um, and because it's a point group, we are going to select only the points or the constraints on the points. The next thing we're going to do is drop down a vellum solver. So we're going to give this vellum solver a gravity of negative 0.6 because we don't need a lot of gravity. The next thing we're going to do, enable self collisions and self and collisions in general, but make sure the ground plane is off. The next thing is pretty much nothing because after this, Everything should work. You shouldn't need any other uh, visualization cues. And the next thing you're going to do is delete all the attributes that you probably don't need other than the velocity. Then you'll cache it out. Uh, one cool thing about having file cache SOPs in um, Houdini 19 is that if you have put down a file cache SOP from a previous version of Houdini, uh, this feature will not be enabled. Uh, but if you do a file cache, you put that down, you'll notice a fair difference between your old file cache node and your new one. So your new one is very more compact um, and it looks very different from your traditional file cache. But if we go here and here, and let's say, I'm just gonna go save, and I'm gonna go save disk and background. The first thing you'll notice is, oh my gosh, is that tops? Is that a task operator? Yes, it is. So basically, when this cache operator turns completely green, you're good to go on your file cache. So we'll let that sim out so you can kind of get a better idea of how it looks when it's saving. But it's pretty good. Um, no need to look at a uh, schedule a scheduler anymore. The next thing I'll drop down is a smooth. So the smooth, basically what it's, go it, it's going to do um, is just smooth out any aspects of, aspects of the geometry that um, we don't want. So it's going to add that extra level of smooth. So if we spin forward in the cache, 
you can see the ears droop a little bit, but if we go up to the droop, there, there's a little bit more roughness in it. So the smooth is just to make sure everything stays pretty. We've then dropped down a vellum out or a null to finalize the output of our simulation. And by the end of it, you should have something that looks like this. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. My name is Kate, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!